Today we're going to take a look at my home first aid kit and figure out what works and what doesn't. Over here is where we keep most of the, the pills and medicines. Um, got some multivitamins here, beetroot, turmeric, the liver supplement, vitamin C, this stuff does the trick. Some uh, sore throat, chloroseptic, I'm a fan of that stuff. Melatonin, helps you sleep. Got some uh, mucus relief PE. We're still in date here. Always check your your expiration dates. Um, some Walletin, so some generic Claritin there. Some Midol, you know, helps with your headaches and whatnot. Some more allergy relief. Um, I think those are actually fairly new. Some cold and flu, got some, some generic uh, NyQuil and DayQuil tablets there. I wish there was a, let's see if we got directions here, no more than four. So the directions are actually on the back here, so this box is pretty big. Um, and it tells you what they are in the back, so we can actually... Uh, these are actually these are actually NyQuil. I wonder if they came in this box because it's packaged as you know Walgreens, but it's NyQuil. Hmm. Interesting. I'll have to look at that. Um. So we got some Advil, allergy and congestion. I only got a couple of these left, but I got another unopened box. So what I'm going to do is kind of combine because space is a premium. And so now that it takes care of get rid of these two boxes, which is pretty nice. So we got that. Some more sinus and congestion relief. Stick with that. Some mucinex, same thing, congestion. Alka-Seltzer Plus, Severe Sinus and Congestion. What's the expiration on this? 11 to 17. These are way out of date. Two years out of date. So they're, they're you can probably still take them. It's just uh, they've started to lose their effectiveness. Um, so we'll get rid of those. Got this emergency. Stuff tastes terrible, but uh, gives you a little immune boost whenever you feel like uh, the sickness is coming on. They're all, all raspberry. All right. So we have those there. Got some Tums. July of 18. July of 18. These actually, I don't know if Tums actually go bad. I mean, it's uh, calcium bicarbonate. Isn't that what it is? Calcium carbonate. Um, can't imagine calcium carbonate going bad, but I'll do some research on that. Uh, then we got uh, Miralax. Stay regular, folks. All right, so we made some room here. Let's see if we can package this all up. We're gonna do all of our congestion relief together over here. Throw these vitamins right here. Oh yeah, that's fitting, fitting good. Then we can uh, use these pills here. Uh, Chloroseptic. These loose mitols. Oh yeah, we got so much more room. This, this is better. This is better. I'm actually gonna put these emergencies over here. You know, it's, it's, it's good to go through your home kit and uh, just get everything organized and take stock of what you got and what you what you think you might need. 
and uh, just to go through, like I said, I go through old stuff, and so there we go. This is better. It's more manageable. Bottles aren't hanging all over the place. Let's see if we can do the same thing over here. Maybe um, ibuprofen, so this can go over over here in this box as well. Of course, septic in there. PJ mask uh, band-aids, gotta have those. Keep, keep the kiddos happy. Got some pre-wrap, so if you're gonna uh, use some athletic tape to wrap around a joint, you'd wrap this around that first so that that tape's not sticking to your skin. We got this ratty ace bandage. Man, this thing has been used hard. Another ace bandage, another ace bandage. Got some uh, first aid kind of rubber adhesive tape here. Throw that there. Some more pre wrap. Uh, some purple athletic tape. Got some vet wrap here. This is this stuff's good. It sticks to itself. Um, doesn't really stick to your skin. It can help uh, uh, hold a dressing on a, a wound. Um, it's great for for pets. So we got some more pre wrap. Some gauze. Some Repel 100, we got 98% uh, DEET, text up to 10 hours, good to have here. Cystane, we got some uh, some eye drops, expires 2018-09. Hmm. What do you think, folks? Should we get rid of these? Or? I mean, that packaging is legit. Can't imagine that. Um... That stuff would go bad in there, but let me know what you think in the comments. Keep or get rid of. Some hydrocortisone cream, some anti-itch. And uh, then we got a Burt's Bees bug bite relief stick. So I'm going to keep all my, my bug protection over here. Same thing, poison ivy soap. Um, I'm a big fan of Technu, actually, and that's what we normally use. Um, I don't... Uh, don't know how long we've had that but it has not been getting used some aloe vera those pale skin folk uh definitely need that when we get out in the sunlight it's uh i burn easy so i'm always using at least some spf 50 biofreeze this stuff is the bomb um it's legit it's legit stuff it's a it's a better version of icy hot this stuff is also good. This Dermaplast pain relieving spray. Um, I mean, it it definitely uh, um, provides some good pain relief when you have uh, a superficial area that that's in pain. Some rubble band aids, Paw Patrol, uh, and then here we're still getting more ace bandages, bunch of just little tape rolls. Athletic tape, man, we get enough. I'm actually gonna probably repurpose this tiny roll and see if we can do better on our tape. Um, and then we have this uh, 3M micropore tape. I kind of like that stuff. It gets dirty easily. Uh, more pre-wrap. You can definitely tell we cleaned out our athletic section. And combine it into here with all these ace bandages and whatnot. Um, for us, our family, ankle injuries are, are fairly common. Um, every once in a while, a, a wrist injury will, will come about. But definitely ankles do happen fairly regularly. Um, so we uh, we keep a lot on hand to take care of that. We're taking this is out. Man, I just don't, I just don't need all these tapes, tapes and wraps. But keep them, keep them, see how we can do. Just reorganize here, tapes and wraps. There we go. All right. You can probably condense a lot of this band aid usage here. Uh, we got variety pack and we got flex fabric. Uh, alcohol swabs. Really don't use those. 
I'll tell you what I used to have and I don't anymore that I need to get is some some uh, some iodine for me I go to my local uh, pharmacy and they keep iodine behind the counter so we got some burn relief and some IVX I'm actually gonna take these um, and probably throw them in the first aid kit that I take when I go hunting um, some neosporin we're getting low on that burn cream let's see we got some big band-aids here six large sterile pads we have more than six in here we got a bunch so we already combined here we'll keep those dressings in that box it's pretty compact it's full uh, we got some non-stick gauze uh, we got here sterile cotton tipped applicators so it's a sterile q-tip i guess we can keep that get some tongue depressors we'll keep those we'll actually i'm actually gonna throw these guys right there um knuckle bandages four inch offset compress sterile one bandage so it looks like that it's a flexible folding fabric knuckle bandages there we go um so those will stay and this is uh i got this the other day from my father-in-law this stuff's pretty cool so can you hear that inside that's not a it's not a gel or a liquid in here it's actually a powder it's a topical powder and if you get a a wound instead of putting a band-aid on it you just pour this on the wound um and it forms like a scab so my wife cut her finger in the uh in the kitchen the other day and i was like hey don't do anything don't do anything and um because i wanted to i ran and grabbed this stuff i wanted to test it out see how it worked i think one of these is open yep this one right here so you just open this up take the cap puncture it and i'll show you what this looks like look at that so it even has a scab like color to it you just pour that on and the blood soaks into it and it, it forms a, a little protective layer over there and uh, the directions say just leave it on and it'll fall right off all right so i'm thinking i need to get some iodine uh for general wound cleaning um from what i've read uh alcohol kind of kills some of the the tissue around an open wound when you when you use it same thing with hydrogen hydrogen peroxide um, i got a ton of alcohol got these little alcohol swabs i keep alcohol in a spray container uh, for use so we're gonna do pain relief here um all this bug stuff i'm actually i'll keep the hydrocortisone in there but this bug stuff i'm gonna put in a different location same thing with this poison ivy soap i'm not going to be coming here to get some soap for my poison ivy but i will come there for the aloe vera these pain relief sprays um this burn gel unfortunately I had to use that a bunch last year so this hydrocortisone itch relief we're gonna face it like that alcohol swabs this is more like stuff that i would throw in a first aid kit um so if i got the room i'll keep them in there but if i don't put those knuckle bandages back in there get our rubbles our pj mask i can actually probably combine these two there's guaranteed to be room oh yeah look at that look at all this room in here i'm gonna combine rubble and the Paw Patrol with the PJ Masks. That way when we know we need some fun band-aids for the kids. Because you know they're... When you get a five and a three-year-old, the boo-boos happen. So let's put those in there. Lock that down. There we go. One less box. We're getting stuff done here. And uh, we're trying to do the same thing here. Which one has more? Ooh, we are stacked on band-aids. All right, let's see what we can do. This seems like we got less in here. 
Uh, steel pad. Tampon steril. Band aid. Band aid. Little dot band aid. Tiny band aid. Some more steel pads. Some gauze. All right, so we got we got a bunch of stuff in here. Okay. Let's see if we can get these in there. That little guy in there. Those steel pads ain't gonna make it. Let's see if we can get this larger band-aid down in there. Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. Okay, gonna rip these, rip these off. Okay. Stacked up with band-aids there. Neosporin, I'm actually going to throw in there as well. Because I always manage to lose it. These guys will fit now. These eye drops, you let me know. Should they stay or should they go? But... Will it, will it fit? If it doesn't fit, just force it, <laughs> right? That's what always works. Um, these steel pads, I'm actually gonna, we got some good compaction here. Now I'm gonna throw those up on there like that. All right, so we're done with that. Yeah, okay, we got cleaning house here, we're cleaning house. So uh, this little tape is going somewhere else. These are going somewhere else. There's bug care and stuff. Is going somewhere else and uh, I feel like this looks these are a little wound seal so I'm gonna tuck in with the band-aids here as well I like that so like I said um, this is kind of like the everyday kit for you know if you need bandages ace bandages you need little band-aids um, got some bigger stuff that you can you know grab in a pinch um, as you've seen in my other video, I got a pretty comprehensive large wound kit. Um, so I'm thinking right here, I need some iodine for better wound cleaning. I need to get some more Neosporin. Uh, ibuprofen is our go-to on pain relief. Um, but I think we may want to lay in some Tylenol as well. This is good till 20. Lay in some Tylenol as well. That way you can uh, you can double them up. Um, do ibuprofen and, and Tylenol, and that gives you a, a pretty serious... Uh, pain relief without having to get into um, some of the opioids and things like that. Um, so let me know what what do you think that uh, this needs to have in it? Uh, what do you what do you have in your kit that works for you? Um, I'm always open for ideas and and learning some things and and improving this. Uh, also, do you get got any other ideas for storage? Right now, like you saw in the the first picture. Uh, we keep ours right out in the bathroom. Uh, the kids know not to get into any of this stuff over here. Any of the stuff that's terrible for them. Um, his child locked. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for checking out this video. Please um, shoot some comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, take a moment also, please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. And uh, thanks, thanks for being a part of the provider community. Have a good night.